Hello YouTube, Pipe Tree here. In Oxford. Um Ooh. camera froze for a sec there. Anyway, um I'm smoking tonight as I see um the artful codger the other night with his video. This is a leather bound pipe. I don't don't think this is the same make as this uh, move that in here. There we go. There we now this pipe is called a kudu. K U D U. You'll be able to see it on the titles up there. Drawing this video. It might even be up there, I'm not sure. But um, this is made in Tanganyika. I think the Kiko pipes are made in Tanzania. Um, but I'm not on the geographics of that. Oh, that's a long word. But, unlike the ones that um, Ben's got, this is just a briar pipe with a leather wrap. There's no Meersham lining. I have got a Meersham lined Kiko, which I will show you in another video. Um, I didn't know whether they had different names for you know one with a Meersham lined and one with a just a plain briar. Oh, don't want my... oh. Right, I'm smoking a special Virginia, or as it used to be known, Mellow Virginia, by uh, old Benny Hedgehogs, Benson and Hedges. And as it, as it says, it is a mild, kind of mellow smoke. Actually, the pouch note is a lot stronger than the actual smoke. Uh, but it's not unpleasant. It's quite a... Good all day smoke. I prefer something a bit stronger myself, but I do like to try um, everything because I'm greedy like that. Anyway, uh, I was going to show you something that I have sat on my desk and I'll use this Let's give it a quick, quick clean basically I've got this in a car boot what a surprise <coughs> anyway all it is is a I would say handmade drill stand but, as you can see, it's a lovely bit of wood with a big brass plaque on it with holes of all different sizes. Well, what I do is sit on my desk and I keep my 
with campers in it. I don't know what this is. I haven't a clue what that is, but if I've got a bulldog with a diamond shank, much a great pipe stand. Uh, just a four inch nail. Pipe knife. Bit of, oh, a little whip rude. Be a bottle opener. Probably just have that sat on my desk. Or wherever I happen to be, sat on the floor. And it's a very useful thing to have there. Yeah. I can usually find me a tamper there. Or pipe knife or whatever. Uh, I did, did find another one at a car boat. Although it's not got a brass thing. It's a just a bit of wood, but I think I will actually use this in a shed for um, putting drills in. It's got a very weird numbering system. It sort of goes, yeah. Yeah, it's got like one. Seven thirty two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, three sixteenths, thirteen, fourteen. I can't understand why they've, you know, integrated both sizes. Maybe that was the size the bloke who made it used. I don't know. Now I'm always on the lookout for this, that and the other at car boots and not have been to any this year. I think Christmas Eve was the last car boot I went to and didn't find a lot there. But what I like to uh, use to put on my pipes It, it might seem a bit weird, but olive oil eardrops. This is actually all it is is 100% virgin olive oil. And that is it. Nothing else in it. No chemicals. Nothing. It's in a handy little dropper. So, oh dear. It's probably quite expensive to buy it that way but I didn't buy it that way it was it was sat in the cupboard obviously got prescribed it or something or one of the kids did years ago never got used so I thought I'll just use that now these are lovely little pipes Because of the leather covering, they don't really get hot. Well, you can feel the warmth of them. But they're not going to get to the... They're not going to get burn your hand or anything. Hmm. Anyway, it's coming up on 10 minutes. I shall uh, smoke myself out and I'll see you later.